Wait, I have thingy now, fortunately. <gasps> oh my god, that's amazing, actually. you rank light armor mastery at all um yeah i think i totally ranked it actually is that a good thing or a bad thing Certain, certain rank you can now equip two accessories. Oh, wait a second, actually. Whoop. I think I have it ranked. Yes, rank one. Wait. Um. Oh. Oh. Oh, hmm. Ha. Huh. Hmm. Interesting. Hmm. That's very interesting to know. Oh, crap. I actually want it like so then. Right, like so. Like what? How do I want it? Not easy. Like so. So. Yes. Same thing for heavy armor, even? Oh, seriously? Wait, didn't heavy armor like... Wait, how, what was it even like? Didn't heavy armor... Heavy armor, heavy armor, heavy armor... Didn't heavy armor have like no... Um, no accessory at all? I remember that light armor had one. I have no idea what heavy armor had. Is it also one? Why are you not splashing, my friend? It's the same thing for heavy. Oh, yeah, I just read that. <clears throat> I'm stupid. 
Hmm. No, I don't, I don't want you. I want tiny horse. Hmm. At the start, heavy ammo kind of equip accessory. As you progress ranking it, you unlock one and then two slot max. Hmm. It's interesting. Done here or what? Big lucky, oh my god. <clears throat> Since we're elves, we can get minus percent, 50 percent penalty on our desk deck. What? What dex, pe what dex penalty are you talking about? Maybe. Oh, oh, right, you can equip heavy armor now as an elf. Oh, so that's how it works. So you can wear heavy armor, but you get dex penalty. That's how it is. Hmm. Oh, does it count with a land or something? Receive a debuff that cuts your current decks in half. That's a lot of <laughs> a lot of decks for basically little benefit or not. Isn't like heavy armor like kind of meaningless compared to light armor now? Considering like I don't even know like how high why the, the defense stats are so high. I, it's totally confusing for me. Wait, why are you not dying? Oh you're dead. Oh you're dead. That's why you're all dead. That's why I can't aim at you. Hmm. Oh boy. Bad, 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 bad. <clears throat> poke, poke. Mm, poke. Over there, poke. Depends what you're going for. Well, I guess if you're going for a melee elf, then awesome. Mage, your mage elf. Maybe. But who, who would do that? Seems weird. It's also one of those things like why bother? I mean, I mean, you're picking classes, right? So why change it later? You might as well let let humans shoot two arrows now. Like why? What would be the point? <clears throat> so I'm not sure whether you really want to change that. I mean, the whole point of elves is that you're like a weak glass cannon, right? Not weak, but like physically weak. You did not count. Wait, do you do you actually have to land in the circle? Hmm. Arrow revolver on elf. <laughs> oh my god. The thing is that arrow revolver actually isn't even good. Like, I don't know, it's like a fun skill. Arrow revolver is like super fun if you're, like most range, it's super fun if you're like not lagging. If you have like virtually no lag. It's super fun. Your 
I don't know. I still like Crash Shot is kind of nice, but still Mirage Missile is I find the most fun thing. That's kind of I take that over Arrow Revolver every day. Oh you're dead again. I mean Mirage Missile is like totally pointless, right? But it's like such a fun skill somehow. I don't know why. Is it not your favorite skill ever? To make things smelly and poof with just an arrow that you can spam? Still use Mirage a lot just because it slows movement. Yeah, I mean, it's like a tiny bit of a debuff. Up. I, I just like it. Oh, but also you didn't reply earlier if they actually fixed the... ever fixed the... EVG... Fuck with Mirage, how it infects like everybody. Even people without PvP. What mate? You what mate? You what mate? Mate mate mate? You what mate? Mate? You what mate? God mate, what are you doing? Where are you where are you going? What what? You know what I actually miss most regarding the combat changes I just noticed? No idea what you're talking about. Um Like I don't know if it was like when EVG first came out, like guild versus a uh, guild. Oh my god, it's 5 a.m. here. Um like when giant versus uh, alpha versus giant PvP came out. Actually, if you would mirage somebody in PvP, then the mirage effect would spread like on everybody, even if they had PvP turned off. So people could like mirage like in the shopping channel and then button, and everybody would die basically. If they were FK. I'm pretty sure I can remember that correctly. Unless actually it was just the just the own team which it also spread on. There was some bug with it. 5 a.m. Yes. Yeah, I just noticed that actually. Six hours of difference, so you're on the east coast. Oh no, summoning, summoning is still. Charge servers are still slow. Well, didn't I, didn't I like mention like in every second sentence until now that I used to play on Europe servers? That I never really played on an A service. I mean, at least not since like Europe came out. And yes, Europe is, is a few hours ahead. Or the states are a few hours behind, like... Whichever way you want to put it. Wherever the one source of truth is there. But yeah, I just, I just, I actually would have gone to bed after I just disconnected, but I actually have a bad fear of missing out on the free skill rank. I, I wouldn't be able to, to get my three hours of sleep properly, knowing that I gave up on that. Not sure if that's ever going to happen here though. Hmm. Gold. But also, um, rewinding to what I just said, like, what I just noticed also, um, which I'm actually was super overpowered in, um, on all archery, I think. I don't think it was an elf thing. I think it was same on human. Like, when you, when you used, I think it was only when you used windmill. How how was it? I think your your attack damage and your crit from your bow were applied to your windmill. I'm not sure if it was damage, it was definitely crit. Possibly also damage, but at least your your windmill was like super broken without using a melee weapon, but with using the bow.
It's actually like not going to happen. Did I screw myself over? You did nothing at least. You did nothing to, to crash me. I'm pretty sure it's you who's crashing the channels though. Always the, the people wearing like all white. Being all holy. And then you have like a guild leader called God apparently. Which is also kind of sus. Mm -hmm. Cut. What do you have to say to this? Cut. Cut? Oh my god, cut. Your camera is broken. Cut. <laughs> cut. What's going on with you? Huh? Oh god. Why is that camera so broken? Cut. What have you done? It's all a coincidence, I swear. Sure. Cut. Did you do it? Cut. Cut. Didn't even apply to the guild anyway. So they stole you? Did they just like steal you off the street, basically? This is not going to happen, right? Is it? They came out in a random invite, clicked things and went to bed. Next morning I was in. They came out on a random invite. What does that even mean? Oh crap, but don't tell me I actually bothered like doing this shadow mission just so that I can finish it. I mean, technically I finished it, right? But I won't be able to log off now. <laughs> Can't complete it even. Fuck you. Fuck you, I say. Wrap it. I mean, they sent a random invite. The window just popped on my screen. Seriously. How? Why would you accept like a random invite with such a weird guild name? Oh my god, oh my god, I'm actually free. <gasps> but Ice Bear Crystal, oh my god, that's so nice. But also like guilds are not are not premium anymore on this server. On this server, yes. In this game. Um wait, also now how are both complete? I thought this only showed the complete button after you completed this one. Channel 7 dead. Now I actually think it's the character server. The channel itself seems fine. Channel 7 and 8 are not. Did you summon anything? By any chance? Oh my god, why is there Koreans here? Look at this. Nani? Why are the Korean people? Is it actually the Koreans? Look at this. There's Koreans here, which are hacking the American servers, probably. What the frick? Why, why would you actually play here? I mean, I logged into J 
Japan at some point, but mm, there's no IP block for it. No, there's not. But there's also no IP block for Japan, and yet you're not gonna play Japan because enjoy the lag. If you think like, actually, if you want to know how bad like lag is, just go play Japan, maybe. You should probably have like kind of a lag on Japan that I have on America. Possibly a little bit worse. But yeah, why would you want to play it? But why are you asking if Channel 7 is dead then? It's gone again. That's fine. Probably have the worst of the deal since Maui servers are on the west coast. Mm -hmm. That's definitely not helping. It's basically basically almost the same. If I if I were to play like Japan or North America, I don't think Japan is much laggier for me. Actually, it might even be better because Japan probably is way better connected than the United States to Europe. But I'm not sure like how bad it is now. I remember like when I actually played on America like 10 years ago, a bit more than that. Like I think I, I had like 400 plus milliseconds ping. And I think that was using like a quote unquote VPN. Uh, was not using the VPN. So it was just 400 milliseconds, like actual, actual ping. Because I think that you actually could use the, the VPN just to log in and then disconnect. I don't even remember like how it worked. But there was some way where you could bypass the, the IP block then. I mean, now that it's like more than t been 10 years, I, I, I guess it's like what it's called, like, when you've done a crime and it kind of expired. <laughs> oh god, they're gonna they're gonna ban me for that now. But first they're gonna like roll back my character some more, take more of my items here. I'm still kind of salty about this, you know? Like losing my rebirth basically, losing my levels, losing my item, losing my everything. Losing the precious Lord passes. By the way, do you want your crystal, maybe? But I mean, to be fair, I'm actually, I don't mind like having lag on America because like we had like a good few years on Europe where we had like the fastest servers ever. The European servers were like blazing fast and they were in the Netherlands, I think. And European uh, internet backbones from like, Basically, Frankfurt, Netherlands, everywhere there's, it's like so nicely connected. So you got like 10 milliseconds ping on the European servers. And that was so amazing, like having 10 milliseconds on a on a server. That's, that's basically like the time that you used to have like on, on LAN servers 25 years ago. Then you were like, oh my God, 10 milliseconds, under 10 milliseconds. That's awesome. That was so crazy back then. And now it's like, yeah, 10 milliseconds, ma. <laughs> it's so crazy, like, the speeds that you sometimes get within cities. Like, which are entirely fiber. You basically get, like, you literally get, like, LAN timings. You get like a millisecond on on all servers which are actually in the city. I think that's the way it is in Stockholm. It's very nice. But oh well. I guess we'll find out then if the servers are gonna be stable again the next days, maybe. Not sure if they're gonna do anything. 
only good experience I had in MMO with Perfect Ping was in Final Fantasy XIV at the launch of Real Reborn. Well, I don't know, but it seems like Final Fantasy is doing lots of things right, aren't they? And the server in my city had like 0 to 20 milliseconds. Yeah, like, like sub 20, 10 to 20 milliseconds, that's like awesome. I don't know what I have on NA now, but it's like a few hundred milliseconds and that's like so terrible. But I remember like when I when I started playing this game and elves came out, like at, there was one dude which was like basically one of the best elves on the server back then. And he also was like from California and he had like absolutely no ping. I don't know where he was living. He must have been like basically living right next to the data center or something. Because that was like before there was fiber or anything. It was like almost 50 years ago. And yet he had like no ping. He must have had like 15 milliseconds or something on the Nexon servers, which are super cra crappy. Now I have the same ping as, as if I would play in EU. Well, you mean, yeah, I guess kind of on the East Coast, 100 plus milliseconds. No, but Europe is like twice as bad. I definitely have like twice your ping. But yeah, it sucks actually if you have a game which is in your service zone. I mean, technically, Europe also is service zone on. But that's the thing I don't get about America. Like, why they always have like, yeah, we're going to serve like East Coast and West Coast and then we're only going to put servers on one side. And then you're like, dude, your, your country is fucking massive. And there's this thing, like, it's called the speed of light. You can't go any faster than that. So you have to have physical proximity to stuff. Can't really get around that. And they're like, nope, we'll just, we'll just roll a dice and then we're just going to put servers somewhere. And usually I think it's probably that you're going to get screwed over on the, on the East Coast now. So there used to be a lot of servers in the East Coast or not because the East Coast is better connected to Europe. So I think the East Coast is like usually where people would use to serve games which actually also served Europe. So the West Coast for Nexon is kind of weird because if they were to set up the servers now on the to serve North America and Europe, they would probably set them up in, in New York again or not. Like whatever that area, wherever the data centers are there. But yeah, that's that's so crappy that you actually live in the same country where the game is being served and you get like 150 milliseconds and then Europe, you, you play a game which is like served in a, in a country, in a different country and you get like 15 milliseconds. <laughs> like what? That's actually quite the advantage. There's like a, actually a lot of advantages in Europe. Physical proximity actually is one of them. Probably have the same amount of ping for Mavi. What? 50 milliseconds? No. 150 you probably have, yes. Or at least like 100 plus, I guess. I'm not sure like what the... What the um, actual minimum possible is between east coast and west coast but i think physically you can't have less than like 45 milliseconds or something from the east coast to <clears throat> to california i think there's like actually <coughs> oh god there's like two um giant machines that detect like gravity waves or not in the united states like one in the north and one in the northwest and one in the south central. And I think they are like 10 milliseconds apart regarding the speed of light. So I guess like north Canada to Mexico, I guess is like probably less than four or five times the difference, the distance from west coast to east coast, right? So yeah, it's just not going to happen. Same thing is kind of like with 
Europe and America, you ju you're just never going to have a good connection just simply because the distance. Unless maybe someday you get like quantum internet or something, then maybe actually there's spooky action at a distance and you get to get internet speeds which are actually faster than the speed of light. But I have no idea how that stuff works. Would be kind of interesting. Because that's kind of that's kind of funny when you think about it, like how our basically our, our digital infrastructure is like capped by physics. I mean it's kind of the same thing with like processor size, like die size or not. That you can't go any smaller basically. It's kind of the same thing with internet connection speeds that you just can't get any faster than speed of light. <laughs> it's just like hard, hard caps basically. But oh well. Oh, well, Leah, have a good night. Thanks for running. And let's hope that the servers are going to be fine the next days then. I'm not sure how it's going to be. Get some rest you need. Why? Do you sound so tired? It's only like 5.30. Yes, have a good night. Tell that, tell that the birds, which are whispering outside. <laughs> the birds are like starting to yell and the cat is like starting to get excited it's like the perfect time to go to bed I guess but it's not easy being an owl I guess right so have a good night see you around tomorrow or the next days bye bye go not.